This is Ray's Angled Magnetic Generator 4. This video is threefold. Show one that can harvest motion from a static magnet field. Let's do that. I have a small car. The setup is somewhat like my Ray's Angled Magnetic Generators 1 through 3. I have an upper magnet cutting a diagonal magnet below. So here we're going to have two uh, magnets also. But I gave myself a little bit of leeway uh, on the uh, design and capabilities. I've never showed this magnetic gate before. This is the activator. And it's kind of a wild looking thing there. But let's go ahead and see if we can. Uh, these are nine, nine or ten little one eighth by one half neos. The bar itself is one eighth by one half by one and a half inch long. The reason why I had that set up was that when you have a bar and a magnet and I put it in there and you know you're gonna have some attraction. Well if you notice these are parallel to the iron. So when you do that I put them in, uh, in length there. Now I have no magnetic force. I created a neutral zone. That allows my gate to come in together without much uh, resistance, which I call input resistance. So here you have magnetic forces, but if you align it in this direction, now the bar is non-magnetic. So that's why I put that set up there. Let's see if she'll fire. Now we're trying to take a static field. This is somewhat like a windmill on a uh, windy day. That windmill is going to churn. But if there's no wind, that produces a static condition and the windmill will not turn. This is an analogy here. Magnets uh, are considered static forces. That's why you don't get any work out of them. But here we're going to show you that it's possible to uh, get uh, some type of motion out of static fields. Now I'm coming into the gate and uh, very, very freely. So if we don't have any input resistance, that's good. That's a good gate. That's a sign of a good OU gate. You don't have to have much to push it in. And It'll get to the gate and fire. Okay, so there's more output energy coming out than there is in. Let's do that again. So here we're having like the analogy of the windmill. It's a uh, the wind has died down and yet the windmill is still turning. So here we have this here. I'm coming in at an angle. That was part of the raised angled magnetic series. Uh, that, that that angle has something to do with it. Head on, it'll still work, but there's more resistance going in. So that angle did have something to do with it. Let's go ahead and so we have very very little uh, energy to get it to the gate where it's going to fire. So this is showing that one can harvest motion from static magnet fields. Okay. Uh, I wanted to eliminate suspect causes such as the motor camshaft that I had in Ray's Angle Magnetic Generators 1 through 3. I got rid of all the electronics, all the testing uh, equipment and so forth. So we just have right down to the basics. We can't blame any of these things as uh, having a cause. So this shows you there is something going on when one magnet passes another in an arranged uh, particular uh, way. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to explain how this magnetic gate works. These are all uh, ceramic, an odd looking thing, but uh, I had to glue them together and I'll show you why. But uh, this is a bar, 
one eighth by uh, three quarter and uh, four inches. This is five inches, but four. But this is nice because you can uh, adjust it back and forth and see what it does. You can work with the gaps and so forth. So this is a nice arrangement. Now, what happened was in number three, I showed you how you can split the neutral. So I did that with this. It has certain characteristics you can use. But other than that, I then again made a tension in it. You can see that uh, you bring that out there and it'll want to come back. So there's a, a tension. So the whole way up along these edges, there's a magnetic tension here. I don't know if that has something to do with it. One gentleman said, kind of like orbiting the, uh, the sun, you know, a rocket. Uh, they'll come around there and uh, catch some of that uh, trajectory and uh, get a little bit of a spin and a kick. And I like that analogy because this is what happens. It comes up to that gate and quickly it fires. It's kind of like there's a little loop, loop in there, magnetic loop. And uh, so if you're a little bit uh, uh, wondering what's going on, uh, I, I have my questions also. Okay, I'm going to bring this up closer so you can see it. All the uh, sizes and shapes and you can see how I did that all in half. This middle bar also works as a neutral zone. Uh, I was showing you there earlier. And, uh, yeah, this is neutral. That also allows your uh, car to come up to the gate and then uh, it catches these forces up in her after it gets through and s shoots it along. So this also works as a neutral bar, the same as uh, we did on the little car I explained earlier. Okay. So there's all your sizes. Okay, we're going to come back in just a little bit. We'll set her up for another experiment. We're trying to show and establish that we do get motion from static fields. I'm coming in at an angle. It doesn't have to be uh, perfectly diagonal. But if you hit, come in at an angle, you, you get away from all the forces that uh, stop it. there. Again, there's very, very little. If you really work at it, uh, you can tell there's a little bit of resistance, but the uh, ratio of what comes out as what went in is so much greater. So that's what I call an OU effect. Also, well, what do you do when you uh, try to reset it? Well, you could have it ride it up onto a little spinner and bring it around again and I don't mind that you know uh, when it fires fast then there's more energy required for a sack of potatoes to go 10 foot in one second than if you would take uh, 10 seconds to do it so you could bring it around again and fire it. perhaps you could take a balance beam and lift this without very much effort and fire and reset, and fire and reset. So those are just ideas. I'm not really mechanical in that sense, so you may have good ideas how to do something with that. But this was uh, what I was trying to show, that there is some usable energy out of static fields. There to the gate, an angle, fire, and there goes our planetary spaceship. Okay, I'll be back in just a little bit and we're going to have another experiment. Okay, in this test we're going to see if the usable energy, the OU event, is able to uh, generate a little bit of power. I have one of these little geared motors. I don't know what the ratio is. I have it hooked up as a load to an LED. I'm going to bring my uh, split and tensioned gate, magnetic gate up here, 
and see if we can fire this enough that turns the generator and do something. Okay, it wasn't much, but it did light that LED. Fire that again. So there is some usable energy in these static fields. Otherwise I could not do this. I've worked with magnetic gates for years. This is my best one. I've not showed this before. Bring it up there. more time. You get too close that'll <laughs> jump up. So I'm trying to stay away from it. But, uh, you can see that it does light it. So there is a force being uh, being made there. Uh, it might be a little bit of a flip of magnetic forces. Uh, really it shouldn't even, that shouldn't even happen. Because uh, magnets you know, if they're in motion and they're going to lift another magnet or iron or something, well, the, the strength of the magnet going up wants to hold it in place. So it lifts it, yes, but it also wants to keep it there. So you really don't get a gain with trying to get magnets to lift other magnets and have them have it work. Uh, there's just as much power holding it as it's lifting it. So you don't get any net gain. So, but we're getting a net gain here in some way. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, enjoy your day. And thank you for your suggestions, uh, your comments, any ideas you have. And, uh, and uh, you probably have a lot of fun with this. It's, I showed you everything I could think of. This is clay. Uh, I put clay on here, modeling clay. And you can uh, change your magnets and your height and so forth. So that's a nice little construction feat there. Uh, okay. And, uh, and uh, thank you very much again. Enjoy your day. Make every day count.